Well, ask anyone who's done it. The cost of getting in and out of the Tallahassee airport is a bear. For years, the Tallahassee business community has said air travel is a major factor when it comes to expanding business and recruiting quality companies and jobs to the Tallahassee market. But why does the price to fly often seem to be sky high? WTXL ABC 27's Paulo Salazar takes a look at the challenges to go up, up and away. <laughs> Fly out of the Tallahassee International Airport these days and you're going to pay a price. It can sometimes be so expensive, people opt to travel to Jacksonville, Orlando, and Panama City to get cheaper tickets. In some cases, a difference of $100 to $300. So the $100 question, why fly local? With your seatbelt securely fastened, and they'd be out clear of all personal belongings until they parked at the gate. I think, I think people think in their head, you know, am I willing to pay for the convenience of flying out of my hometown? That's Jay Revel, a local business leader who's been flying in and out of the Tallahassee International Airport for years, who says the biggest sell for the airport is convenience. Curb to gate. Security lines are pretty much non-existent. It's very easy to get in and out of our airport. As the area continues to grow, so does the demand for more flights to more destinations at a cheaper rate. It's an issue city leaders are trying to fix. We lowered the parking fees uh, to make it where people can come and, and park there cheaper. We've done some terminal renovations. We're in the process of doing those now to make it more convenient for folks to fly in and out of Tallahassee. And then the main thing that we're doing is working with the airlines to try to get more flights and lower fares out of Tallahassee. And that's the key, lower fares. Because a two to four hour drive to a larger pub can mean the difference of hundreds of dollars. According to Priceline.com and CheapFlights.com, a flight from Tallahassee to Dallas can set you back close to $500. But that same flight from Jacksonville to Dallas is around $200. The challenge for small to mid-sized airports is how do we get more capacity into the market? The more capacity, the less the customer pays for ticket prices. For the many Tallahassee residents and area business professionals who use air travel as a priority, choosing between cheaper air prices and convenience is a major balancing act. And recognizing some of those challenges the airport faces, the city has made some major renovations to its terminal, security lanes, and baggage area. Tallahassee has done a great job, especially with our major carriers, Delta and American, by getting rid of the smaller regional jets. What that does is it helps the pricing of the airport because if you have larger jets, hopefully you're getting more capacity and you're spreading those costs out among a larger group of people as opposed to regional jets, you're spreading the costs among 50 people. Curry says they're campaigning to get more carriers to the airport to provide competition and additional destinations, all designed to lower fares. for a small community air service development grant for $750,000, which will bring United Air Service hopefully into the airport to serve Houston from Tallahassee. For Curry, Tallahassee will never be a location where tons of direct flights are offered, but with more connections to major hubs, he hopes that will translate into more local dollars. First, the more carriers we have going in and out of Tallahassee, uh, the more destinations. Uh, so currently there are some holes that we need to fill of places that you have to fly to somewhere else to get that you can't go directly from Tallahassee. And we're hoping to fill those holes. Fly out of Tallahassee. Fly frequently out of Tallahassee. The Tallahassee International Airport has a close to $400 million economic impact on the area. And with this year's international designation, more international cargo and commercial flights will make Tallahassee a first stop entering the continental U.S. Still getting cheaper flights for the average flyer is still a work in progress. If you're a family of five and you're flying across the country, it may be cheaper for you to drive to a hub. But when you put in what you have for gas, what you have for a hotel or for parking, and you add that to the fare structure, most times Tallahassee is going to be the most cost efficient, efficient option. If you're someone who's been on a long business trip mm -hmm. and you're, if you're thinking about flying back into a Jacksonville or Atlanta or Orlando, then you've got a ride ahead of you. And you know, if you're worn out, you're probably ready to get back home.
With the new designation, the Tallahassee International Airport is looking to move 9.5 million pounds of freight each year. Now officials are hoping that will mean more jobs at the airport and more revenue for the city and county. And if you have a story idea for the insiders, email us at ABC 27 news at WTXL TV. Attention the insiders.